Hello everyone, sit down, sit down. This video is going to be about the Sonic movie, and as usual, I am excessively late. Anyway, let's begin, shall we? Sonic the Hedgehog came out on February 14th, 2020, and has had a rocky development to say the least. Just a glance at the first trailer and you think it was supposed to be a horror movie. Just look at that design. Ugh. Uh, meow? The movie was directed by Jeff Fowler, produced by these people, and starring as Sonic Ben Schwartz and as Eggman, Jim Carrey. Yes, the legend is here once more to be Eggman, or Robotnik. And he is the best character in the movie. Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. No! My wrong! I'm in charge! Allow me to clarify. The doctor thinks you're basic. Listen, pal, I don't know if you realize who- I'm sorry, Major, what was your name? Ben- NOBODY CARES! Now, let's start with my opinion because I want to stay spoiler free for as long as possible. And my opinion on this movie is... I actually kind of like it. Now, this isn't a masterpiece, far from it, but the movie is funny, has semi-memorable characters, and has a decent story. However, I do feel like spending a bit more time on the important plot points would have made it a bit easier to follow. Should have expected that a movie about Sonic would be fast. However, there are also things in the story that I think they should not have spent that much time on, but they did. Like the middle third of the movie being a bit of a road trip. If you expected this to be a dumpster fire like the first trailer suggested, I'm sorry, this is not it. This is actually a decent movie. Jim Carrey is definitely the highlight, you should expect that going in because of the trailers, but nevertheless, his take on Eggman is just perfect. He's zany, over the top and cartoonishly evil. A perfect Eggman in my opinion. Now sadly, the same can't be said for the other human characters. I literally don't remember their names. Sonic's main sidekick in this movie is Tom Wachowski, played by James Marsden. A policeman of the town Green Hills. But why though? Why not Tails or Knuckles or a character from the game? At least a memorable sidekick. I legitimately feel like the movie would have been better without them. And with some tweaking, that could have definitely been possible. Now I don't despise them, but memorable, they are not. Now for the story. If you people haven't seen the movie yet and don't want to be spoiled, you better scram. Sorry kid. Sonic, a young extraterrestrial blue hedgehog with the power to run at supersonic speeds, is sent away from his planet by his guardian Longclaw the Owl. Before his departure, Longclaw gives him a bag of rings that can create portals to other planets, using one to send him to Earth while she protects him from a tribe of echidnas attempting to abduct him. Maybe Knuckles was there? I... you can't see that. Ten years later, Sonic enjoys a secret life near the town of Green Hills, Montana, but longs to make friends. Part of his life includes idolizing local sheriff Tom Wachowski and his veterinarian wife, Maddie, unaware that the pair are planning to relocate to San Francisco soon. One night, Sonic becomes upset over his loneliness when playing baseball by himself and triggers some sort of an electromagnetic pulse or something with his supersonic speed, knocking out power across the Pacific Northwest. Why? I still have no idea. The following day, scientific genius Dr. Robotnik is sent by the United States Department of Defense to uncover the source of the outage. Robotnik discovers Sonic and begins tracking him, who hides in the Wachowski's shed. Before he can leave to another planet, Tom discovers Sonic and shoots him with a tranquilizer, letting his bag of rings through a portal to San Francisco. Upon waking up, Sonic convinces Tom to help him, moments before Robotnik arrives at the Wachowski's house and finds one of Sonic quills that Tom found the previous night. Threatened by his robots, Tom punches, yes, punches Robotnik and leaves with Sonic. As the pair attempt to get away from Robotnik, who labels Tom a domestic terrorist by the way, they slowly bond when Tom learns about Sonic's one for a friend. Robotnik investigates the quill and discovers the power in it has the potential to fuel his robots and slowly becomes obsessed with capturing Sonic. As he soon tracks them down, the pair get into an argument over Tom's plans to leave Green Hills forever. 
which Sonic does not like. Shortly after defeating a robot sent by Robotnik, an explosion hurts Sonic. Arriving at San Francisco, Tom brings him to Maddie, who somehow makes Sonic even more annoying. While Tom explains about their situation to Maddie, Sonic gets a pair of sneakers from Maddie's niece, before the group head to the Transamerica Pyramid, where Sonic's bag of rings landed. Just as Sonic wants to create a new portal, Robotnik attacks them, forcing him to send Tom and Maddie back to Green Hills, before Sonic challenges Robotnik to a fight. They pair battle with each other across the world, with Sonic learning Robotnik is matching his speed with the power of his quill. Their chase eventually returns them to Green Hills, where Robotnik knocks Sonic out. However, Tom punches Robotnik again, allowing Sonic to become half super, I guess, something like that, and defeat Robotnik, sending him to a planet made of mushrooms. Following all of this, Tom and Maddie decide to stay in Green Hills and let Sonic live with them, while the US government erasing all evidence of the events, including records of Robotnik's existence. However, Robotnik still having Sonic's quill, begins plotting his revenge. Now that was probably pretty confusing, but you can't mention everything in such a short time. In a mid credits scene, Tails, yes, that Tails, comes from a ring portal in search of Sonic. This, and Robotnik saying, and I quote, I will be back by Christmas, means we will most likely get a sequel. The sequel maybe could even mention the Chaos Emeralds, as this movie pretends they don't exist. Now I'm not here to speculate though, so on to the final verdict. Ooh, this movie is actually pretty good, with Jim Carrey being the highlight of course. I am stoked for the sequel already, so this movie is definitely here to stay. Thanks for watching to the end. I hear rumours that if you like and subscribe, you'll get a cookie. I don't know about you, but I'm doing it right away. Bum, bum. Bum to the, bum to the, bum to the base.